So guys, I did a small update to my truck. I upgraded my circuit breakers. I put some of these 3.8 circuit breakers in because they kept, like they have 3.8 terminal instead of the small quarter inch ones because these would trip sometimes when I was jump starting cars at like 120 amps. So these are some really expensive, uh, what are they called? Uh, mechanical products, I think. Yeah, mechanical products, MP. And they're supposed to be waterproof. This one you can reset back here with a switch to run one in the front is a 275 amp and that one itself resets. So I did that. And then I wanted to do some testing on my jumper cables because when I went to jump start some cars, like some bigger trucks, like a diesel and that, it didn't seem to want to jump start right. Like I could see what I was charging at, but but then, like I should be able to jumpstart pretty much anything with this battery bank. So I went over to Harbor Freight, got one of these carbon pile testers. It says 500 amps, and I found an issue with it. Let me make sure this is all the way down. There we go. And I think I paid 40 bucks for it. So what I did was put my amp clamp on here, 600 amp clamp, connected to my Pico scope, and I'm measuring voltage on the red trace right here at the cables. And then I put two of my probes right into my cables right here because I didn't, I couldn't get in here to measure it, the connector. So I went right there. And these are on the green trays. And here's what we have. So now if I turn this, well, here's our blue trace. This is our current, and this is our voltage. We can even overlay these because they're measuring the same amount. So there we go. So now if I turn this up. And you'll see this this thing's way off when we turn this up on the amperage. But you'll see our voltage tanks right here. So we went down to seven seven volts and that's at 200. But if we come over here and look at our Pico scope. Let's see, what did we see here? So we saw 6.6 .6 volts at our lowest point. And on our green trace, we saw 12.3. Right there's 12.3. And our current, we had 287 amps. So I think this cable right here, because this is a CCA cable, it's a copper clad aluminum, it's not oxygen free copper, which everything else here is oxygen free copper. I think that's my issue. So we can turn this up again and you can see that my gauge in here, this is pretty accurate. So right now it's charging the batteries off the alternator. So if I turn this up, so we're seeing 173 amps, but the problem with that is I gotta shut the isolator off because the alternator is skewing that. So shut this off. And now we do it. Now we'll get an accurate reading. So we're seeing 263 amps. Well, this is measuring 200 amps. And 11.6 volts. So yeah, what I'm, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some 4 aught because this is 2 aught cable. Probably get some 4 aught OFC cable for jumper cables, and then we'll do our test again, and I think should be able to max this thing out. And I think it'll help me jump start cars then. Especially bigger ones. Like, normal cars in that, no problem. Like a gasoline truck, no problem. But when it comes to like a diesel, it's not happening. And I also think, because I somebody had mentioned this, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a jumper wire that goes from one side of the copper here to the other side. So you get power going to both one, both jaws rather than through the clamp. And I think that'll help us out too. Because then one jaw, see, because if we look at this side, I don't know how to get this off one-handed. There we go. These clamps get kind of hot too because 
all the power is going through one jaw, so it just this colors it. You can see that. So I think I might get some heavier clamps too. These are soldered, it's soldered and crimped in there, and bolted to it. But I think we just get too much of a voltage drop there. So I hope you guys like this test. Here it is on the screen. I think that's pretty nice though that I can get almost 300 amps out of it. I think the highest I ever measured was like 400 amps for like a second. But this really helps. So I hope you guys like this. See you later.